it's not that Chinese dinosaurs are more important than dinosaurs elsewhere. What's exciting about the Chinese dinosaur story is that in the last few decades, it's skyrocketed. You know, they went from zero to 60 in a heartbeat, essentially. And why is that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is um, that the government there has made a conscious commitment to explore parts of China for dinosaur paleontology. And so there's been this rise in national pride about their paleontological resources. And then the nature of those explorations has revealed these really remarkable uh, dinosaur finds. And so it's a combination of those two things. More specifically, what's nice about it is it's a chance to see animals that we wouldn't normally see here in North America. There's a bunch of really spectacular skeletons here that, uh, as I said, the, the normal dinosaur enthusiast would not be able to see uh, a cast or the real thing in some cases. They'd have to, it would just be reading about it in, in books or on the internet somewhere. So there are different dinosaurs in North America. There are different dinosaurs from those in Asia. But what is interesting is that at some level, most there are a lot of groups of dinosaurs at the broad level that have similarities between the two continents. So it shows that at least during the Cretaceous, for example, there was uh, communication between North America and Asia with faunal exchanges. And you'll see some of that in this exhibit. Some of the early ancestors of uh, later, more famous North American dinosaurs like Triceratops, which we have a Triceratops skeleton in the lobby, and you can see that uh, its ancestor here in this exhibit, Protoceratops, for example. So you uh, you get a chance to see up close some of the result of connections between continents through time. My favorites, generally. Um, I've always been partial to the ceratopsians, so the protoceratops, the cetacosaurs, which are not necessarily ceratopsians, but very close to them. Uh, the, those are the ones that I'll spend the most time looking at during the course of this exhibit, as well as that skeleton behind you, Momentosaurus, which is a very different dinosaur, but the sauropods uh, have always been something of a fascination as well. So I've got a couple of skeletons I'll be looking at. Well, it's always fun to see a dinosaur exhibit and see the artist's reconstructions of these things. But this is a chance to actually see the bones or the casts of bones themselves, which is really where the story always begins. And so this exhibit, why we're excited about it being here is because of the volume, the number of different dinosaur skeletons that we would not normally be able to see. And in some cases, the real material is here. And so uh, that's the thing that I think is really exciting. I hope you enjoy the exhibit. Goodbye.